Guys, I'm going to talk a little bit about incubating duck eggs. Duck eggs can take about 28 days to incubate. On day 25 is when you take them out of the egg turner, lay them flat in your incubator, because it is time to hatch. That is considered your lockdown time for those last three days. Now, duck eggs, um, my particular duck eggs, they actually hatch very easily. Um, a lot of people have claimed in the past, I've heard that they've had a lot of trouble hatching duck eggs. The, th the shell is a lot thicker, and they do require a little bit higher humidity for the hatching, um, but I personally have had no issues hatching my duck eggs. Almost every single one of them hatch. I have a batch that is ready to go into lockdown. Um, I do not hatch out of the same incubators that I incubate in, so they're in one incubator for the first 25 days, and then I transfer them over to my hatching incubator for those last three days. So let's take a look at the incubator. Um, there's going to be several eggs in there. They're all dated with different dates, so they're all on different time schedules. But I'm going to candle a couple of the eggs and show you what it looks like and how you can know if that egg is going to hatch or not. All right, so here is my incubator. This is just a styrofoam incubator. It is actually a Hoover Bader 2370. It is an amazing incubator. Um, do not ever go by the temperature and humidity if your shows humidity that's on the actual incubator. Um, from my personal experience, it is always wrong. Um, at least about two degrees usually and about five, maybe even up to 10% wrong on the humidity. Um, so I use uh, these right here. This is a hydrometer. You turn them on. Put them inside of your incubator and rely on this for your for an accurate uh, temperature and humidity reading. If you want to put more than one um, uh, hydrometer in there, um, if it will fit, then by all means do that. That way you have two different ones showing. Um, you can get a better reading that way. Um, ignore this. This here I used to use for chicken. I now use for duck. So this uh, writing here on the top is not accurate. I do incubate them at the 100 degrees and um, I try to keep it at 50 to 55 um, for those first 25 days. Um, but after that is when I bring it up to usually about 75% is what they seem to hatch at um, the best. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna turn the lights off here in just a moment so we can candle some eggs and uh, be able to look at them and see that little baby duck in there moving. So here is my incubator. As you notice, they all have different dates. December 18th is the date that we're looking at. Um, by first thing, you can tell right here that this particular egg is going to hatch. It is already starting to pip. Um, let's see, there's another one right there. It's hard to see. That one's already starting to pip. Let's candle these eggs real quick, and I'll show you the little babies inside moving. All right, when candling my eggs, I try not to pick them up and actually candling them. Um, as you can see, these eggs here, they were just put in on January 10th. They've only been in there for two days, so they're not showing anything just yet. The December 18th are the eggs that we're looking at. And before I show you those, I'm going to show you some other ones. This is January 5th. You can see some veins forming in that egg. That means that egg is more than likely, um, that is a good egg. That egg is going to develop. Hopefully that baby doesn't die during the process, but you can see all that veinage. That is what you're wanting to see when you are incubating any type of egg, whether it's a duck egg or a chicken egg. This here is another uh, January 10th. We've got some December 23rds over here. A lot more veinage, as you can see, that uh, baby is starting to form. You can actually see it moving if you watch real, real closely. That baby is in there forming. Those don't lock down for another several days, though. Um, my incubator is going to go crazy here because I have it open. Give me one second. Let me get that to stop. All right, I've got that to stop. What that sound is, is my incubator telling me that it has dropped in temperature. Um, so it is telling me to close this thing back up. So we're going to hurry up and get this done. These here are December 26th eggs. Um, so there's just a few days behind those other ones that I just showed you. They are all candling very, very good right now. So I've got a lot of development going on in here. There's even another one. Now that's a January 5th. That's also a January 5th. And then these are the December 23rd. Oop, I don't know if you saw that. That ducky in there is doing a disco dance right now. So December 18th is the date that I'm looking for. And they actually start right here. You see that baby moving? That egg is going to hatch, guys. We are going to have a baby duckling from this egg. Here's another one. That little baby right there. You can see that baby. That baby's getting ready to come out. Here is another one. I don't see. I can't tell. If, yep, that one's moving. There we go. We got movement right there too. And let's look at this one. Now this egg here. Not liking the way this one's looking. Um, you can see the darkness down in there. 
I do not believe that one will hatch. I'm seeing a really dark spot over here. And then you can see the lighterness on that side. That is a dead duckling inside that egg. So that one there I do not want to lock down. That is a bad egg, guys. That one, um, it started out, it developed, and then has died uh, sometime in the process. Looks like it made it pretty far because the egg is pretty filled. Here is another December 18th. Got some movement right there. That little baby is rocking. It's a rocking back and forth. And we got some more December 18th. This one here is the egg that's pipped. I don't know if you can see that little piece of the eggshell right down there. That baby is already trying to come out. You see it moving? It's pretty cool to see those move inside of there. This one here, let's look at this one. Um, this one here, I do not believe this egg will hatch. Um, this egg is not looking very good. It developed as well. Um, but does not look like that baby is actually alive in there. I'll have to take a closer look here in a moment though. Here is another egg. This one's looking good. I don't see the baby moving. And you won't always see them moving, guys. Um, sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. That egg looks fully developed though from what I can tell. There's that one there. I just saw a teensy bit of movement. I don't know if you can see it with the way that light's shining. There we go. That one is moving. And this one here. I think I saw some movement in there. I'm not sure. I'm going to take a look at that one closer too. So there's about three eggs here that I've got to take a look at. But there's quite a few that um, look like they are going to hatch. So let me get these in my little egg transport box is what I call it. And we're going to take them to the hatching incubator really quick. All right. So here is what I call one of my lockdown incubators. I've got four of these things that I lock down in. Um, it says do not open on it. On those last three days of incubation, you do not want to open this uh, incubator. What can happen when you open it, um, you will essentially shrink wrap that duckling or chick or whatever it is that you're hatching inside of that egg. If the temperature and humidity drops when you open the lid, which it's likely to do um, because it all escapes out of there, it shrink wraps that, uh, oh, I can't even think of what it's called, but that uh, film on the inside of the egg, the... Uh, my goodness gracious, I've lost, uh, <sighs> hopefully you know what I'm talking about. It's like that little membrane on the inside of the egg. Um, it will shrink wrap that chick in there. So it says lockdown, do not open. Um, I keep these at 100 degrees as well. And for ducks, I do about 75% humidity. So, all right, so it's time to get these eggs into this incubator. Um, you, first thing you'll notice is I have paper towels down. The paper towels help the chicks and ducklings or whatever you're hatching once again, to not slip and cause splay leg. Um, these plastic netting pieces underneath um, can get very, very slick when that humidity is high. Plus, when they hatch, they poop and all of that stuff, and it is very, very hard to get that part very clean. So I line it with paper towels to help the cleaning process and to help keep them from slipping. So I'm going to put my little eggs in here, one at a time, so I do not drop them and get them all in here. There's no particular method of how you've got to put these eggs in here. Um, I am a little on the OCD side, so I like to uh, line these eggs up um, in a little line here. Um, that way, once they hatch, this is where all of them hatch, and hypothetically, I want them to come over here. Now, that does not always happen, guys. These little ducks are going to go wherever they want to go, but I like for all my eggs to be in one spot and have an open area in there. Um, this is one of the eggs. I'll show you a little closer. That is one of the eggs that is already pipping. That is that little duckling uh, breaking through that shell. They will zip around is what it's actually called and take that whole top off or part of the top and then be able to come out of the egg. I've got my hydrometer in here. So it is time to lock these things down. Let me get this lid closed so the humidity can come back up and these little babies will hatch um, within the next three days. If you've never hatched eggs, it can be a little challenging, um, but the process overall is not very hard. Um, if you're not having good luck hatching, check your humidity and check your temperature. Um, a lot of people rely on what the incubator is saying. Go pick up a hydrometer. They are very, very cheap. You can find them at Tractor Supply. You can find them at Walmart. You can find them on Amazon, all over the place. Amazon actually usually has the best deals um, from what I've seen. You can get a 
two to four pack of them for under 20 bucks where at tractor supply and uh, walmart places like that they're going to be five to ten bucks a piece depending on the hydrometer that you pick up but it doesn't have to be anything fancy it is going in your incubator if it's in your hatching incubator it's more than likely going to get pooped on so don't spend thirty dollars on this real fancy hydrometer it does not have to be anything expensive and fancy guys it's just something for you to be able to monitor your temperature and humidity so try that um, if you've been having a little bit of trouble incubating i hope that will um, help you so these are khaki campbell ducklings that will be hatching out like i said before it takes 28 days there are some other breeds of ducks especially mandarin ducks those can take a little bit longer um, I have seen some of those eggs take 32 to 34 days even, but that's not always. Um, those tend to hatch better under mamas than in the incubators. But um, khaki Campbell ducklings and a lot of other duck breeds take 28 days, 25 days. They're in your regular incubator. They're in an egg turner. Um, those last three days is that lockdown where you do not turn the eggs. Um, you don't have to buy a separate incubator to hatch in. Um, that is just my personal preference. I hatch a lot of eggs and I like to be able to keep my batches moving. As you noticed, I had multiple different batches in there. So if I was trying to hatch and incubate out of the same incubator, um, it would not be ideal. Um, you don't want to bring that humidity up that high and lower it. Um, plus, it's a, the hatching portion is a very, very messy situation. So I choose to do it in a totally different incubator. But if you only have one, you can do it guys you can make it work in just one incubator um, i do suggest starting all your eggs at one time opposed to what you saw in my incubators where they're all on different time schedules um, but it is possible to do it thank you all for watching this video um, hopefully i've provided you with some useful information and if you like this video and you are not already subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing